So it appears that Hunter Biden might be facing charges for some of his activities. Fox News, of course, is giddy. What does this mean for the upcoming election for the Biden administration? Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So Fox News is going crazy, all enthused over the fact that Hunter Biden might be facing charges, according to a leaked report by the FBI. What does this say about the administration? Well, of course, I would say it shows that this is an administration that is not politicizing the FBI. But of course, even here, Fox News finds something to bitch about. Let's check it out. We are learning federal charges against Hunter Biden could come down any day now as voters gear up to cast their votes in the midterm elections. Fox News contributor Lara Trump joins us now, Lara. Okay, let's start with this. Number one, this reminds me an awful lot of when something by the FBI was leaked right before the 2016 presidential election and how that impacted the election then. I think it's pretty clear that had James Comey not made his announcement before the 2016 election, Hillary Clinton probably would have been elected president. So this again raises questions about the FBI playing politics. What's more is it once again shows the FBI playing politics on the Republican side. Quite the contrary to all these claims about, oh, Joe Biden is politicizing the FBI and the Department of Justice. Not so. If that were the case, then do you think that there'd be this leak coming out about an investigation and potential charges coming out against Hunter Biden a month before the election? No, this is evidence of an administration that is not politicizing the FBI and is actually allowing the FBI to do its job. Let's keep watching. Your reaction to this report. Well, good morning, guys. I, look, as a member of a family who has had countless baseless accusations leveled at us and uh, calls for all of us to be in jail or locked up uh, despite no crimes, of course, it is nice to see that there is some movement towards justice in a way here with Hunter Biden. I Okay, let's be clear about something. There is ample evidence that the Trump administration engaged in crimes. I mean, let's just remember the fact that they needed to get a search warrant to search Donald Trump's home. That never happened before. So their claim about how there's no evidence that the Trump administration engaged in crimes is BS. And what's more, the Mueller report that they keep talking about totally exonerating Trump did exactly the opposite, stating clearly that Robert Mueller and his team believed that the president had violated the law and committed obstruction of justice. Let's keep watching. Um, but I think for anyone who is uh, hoping to see Hunter maybe in like an orange jumpsuit or in handcuffs, I don't think we're going to get that. And I, I don't want to get people too excited here because most people believe that the reason that this is happening in the time that it is right now is because the Democrats are very worried that Republicans are going to take over the House and Senate after the midterm elections, and it could get very messy for the Biden family. So this appears to be an attempt to speed this up, to allow a plea deal if anything comes of this, and of course, pay a fine. And then we are all supposed to look at this as a big victory, the Hunter Biden situation has been dealt with so we can all move on. Okay, that's one of the most convoluted examples of logic I think I've ever seen. If you can even call it logic. I mean, this is clear that this is not something that Biden and the Democrats wanted to come out before the election. Obviously, as we can talk about the fact that this is evidence of the fact that the Biden administration has not politicized the FBI, which should be a positive thing. You're going to see all kinds of claims on the right that, oh, look at the criminal enterprise that the Biden administration is, which is just such an example of projection. But let's keep talking anyway. I mean, if the Biden administration were in control of this issue and wanted to do exactly what Lara Trump is suggesting, they would have waited till after the election for this to come out and dealt with it in the period between the election and when the new House was sworn in. The fact that this came out before the election clearly shows that this is an administration that is behaving honestly and above board and is not politicizing the FBI. Let's keep watching. 
but this doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of the really big problems here with the Biden family. What about the foreign business deals where Hunter Biden, his uncle Jim, and Joe Biden, the current president of the United States, raked in millions of dollars from countries like China and Ukraine? What Okay, let's be clear about something. There has never been one iota of evidence, despite lots of investigations, by the way, that Joe Biden has ever profited at all by the behaviors of his son. Secondly, I mean, let's face it, Hunter Biden's a problem, you know, but he's an adult and Joe Biden does not have control over him. And has Hunter Biden taken advantage of his name to earn money? I think you'd be crazy not to think that were the case. I mean, the Biden administration actually went to great lengths to try to draw some kind of limits between his ability to go and sell his artwork and that, that information being able to be shared with the Biden administration. So they were trying to create some kind of wall there to at least separate it. And as Biden himself said during the debate, when Donald Trump attacked him about his son, Biden said in one of the more moving moments, I think, of the debates, that his son has struggled with drugs and that he's doing well and that he's proud of him. That's a sentiment, by the way, that I can relate to, where I do have a daughter who has struggled with drugs and she's doing well and I'm proud of her. But it also means that he's an adult and Joe doesn't control him. And the one thing that Joe Biden does control is if he himself has engaged in any inappropriate activities, and that has been shown repeatedly not to be the case. Let's keep watching. What about Hunter Biden's lucrative uh, art business where he was selling paintings he painted for half a million dollars? The truth is, if Hunter Biden was any other American, he would have probably already been charged with illegal drug charges, uh, with prostitution uh, charges, because we have overwhelming evidence of those things. But because it's Hunter Biden, nothing has come of it. So. If now, let's be clear about something. If Donald Trump were any other person, he would have been charged with multiple crimes. I mean, at this point, the evidence that he basically stole top secret documents from the government and continued to hide them after repeated requests for them to be returned, including now it turns out, even after the search down in Mar-a-Lago, he's still hiding more documents, probably at his property in New Jersey. That is a crime, and were he any other person, he would have been charged long ago. The claims against Hunter Biden, frankly, are pretty piddly. He didn't report all of his income for taxes something that's a problem, but nevertheless, nothing that jeopardizes national security like what we've seen in Donald Trump's case. Let's keep watching. Of course, I think it is nice to see a step towards some sort of justice here, but there is a much bigger story here, and I hope we don't lose sight of that. Well, we're also getting reaction, Lara, from Hunter Biden's team, and they're not denying anything. They are just angry that this story about possible charges coming down was leaked to the Washington Post. Hunter's attorney released this statement saying it is a federal felony for a federal agent to leak information about a grand jury investigation such as this one. Any agent you cite as a source in your article apparently has committed such a felony. We expect the Department of Justice will diligently investigate and prosecute such bad actors. Now that's true actually. You're not supposed to leak investigations from a grand jury because of the fact that the grand jury is basically investigating and until they've come up with some type of indictment nothing that comes from there should become public because then the individual who's essentially being charged has the ability to defend themselves. But when it's going through a grand jury, they don't have the ability to defend themselves. So that is actually a policy and frankly, one that should be enforced. Let's keep watching. Actors, what do you think about that? Well, gosh, how many times have we seen people leak things about my father-in-law, about our family? What about the person? Okay, let's be clear about something. None of those leaks were from a grand jury. In fact, if anything, what was amazing about the Mueller investigation was how nothing leaked during that investigation. Everybody was speculating about what was happening, but literally nothing leaked until actual charges were filed against somebody. Let's keep watching. The person who leaked uh, the possible Supreme Court decision on Roe v. Wade, nothing has happened. Quite the contrary. In fact, the Supreme Court has been going through quite the investigation and has turned itself inside out dealing with that. They've gone through a terrible investigation and Roberts has pledged the fact that if they find the person who is responsible for that, they will be punished severely. 
Let's keep watching. And to any of those people. So obviously, uh, I don't really expect that we'll see much movement in that space. But um, yeah, it is frustrating whenever, you know, things are leaked. We know firsthand as a family how that can feel. Uh, but uh, again, I think that there is such a bigger story here when it relates to Hunter Biden and the Biden family. I truly think that they are worried about Republicans uh, taking back over Congress and what those consequences could look like for the entire family. Family, for Hunter Biden, for Joe Biden, uh, what it means for the Democrat Party, obviously heading so close to midterm elections. I know that they're, they're concerned. I'm just going to complain here for one second, just because I need to. And it's this referring to the Democratic Party as the Democrat Party. Why do they do that? Do they think somehow it bothers us or somehow people aren't going to vote for us because we're the Democrat Party rather than the Democratic Party? And yet somehow all these people on the right insist on doing it. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Maybe we need to call them the Republic's Party. I don't know, but let's keep watching. Concerned about maybe this being a bad thing for them, but more so than that, they're worried about what could happen if they are questioned by Republicans and they get a chance to do a deep dive into so many things that we still have so many unanswered questions on. I think your information right off the top was very, very prescient. I think this could all lead to a slap on the wrist. And then I'll add to what you said, Lara, a potential pardon. And that's not going to give the people the answers that they need and the answers they deserve. And it also begs the question, what about Joe? Lara Trump, have a great- Donald Trump's basically the one who is pardoning people left and right, but let's not talk about that. And there's been no evidence that Joe Biden has pardoned anybody inappropriately, unless you consider all the nonviolent people who had marijuana in their possession who've now been pardoned. But let's not talk about that. You know, what's interesting about Fox News is how much they don't talk about the things that are good and that they know that their people would be in favor of. For all their talk about, oh, these are the things that aren't covered on the mainstream media, what about all the things that they don't cover? No, they're going to be spinning this Hunter Biden scandal for as long as they can, despite the fact that, again, there's never been any link between Hunter Biden and Joe Biden other than the fact that he's his son. And while they talk about, you know, oh, Hunter Biden selling his artwork, how about Jared Kushner getting the two billion dollars from the Saudis after they said that they weren't going to invest in him, but yet, you know, they obviously were doing some dealings over in Saudi Arabia. Mnuchin, by the way, also got a big investment from them. How about that administration that was a revolving door and where multiple people were charged with crimes? It's quite the contrast, and yet, to listen to Fox News, you'd think that the Biden administration is a wholesale criminal enterprise. It's just unbelievable. Well, if you want to check out the video I did a long time ago where I raised concerns about Hunter Biden going and selling his artwork, check this video out over here. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.